Hey Solar folks, Ben here from Wholesale Solar and today I want to share with you guys this awesome spreadsheet or a tool to help you better assess your power loads for your off-grid system. This is going to help the solar technician get a better understanding of your needs and demands for your off-grid system. First, you're going to need to have to copy this spreadsheet and save it on your own device or your own computer or into your own Gmail. If you have a Gmail account, you should have access to your own drive. Most likely you're already logged in if you have a Gmail account and you should be able to make a copy from this drop down here and you can go ahead and say, okay, make copy. So now you should be able to edit this. If we go back to the original document that you landed on and you don't have a Gmail account, but you do have a, uh, a way to edit spreadsheets, maybe like a Microsoft Excel, you're just gonna wanna go down here and hit download and say Microsoft Excel. But because I am gonna do an example in Gmail where we can use their spreadsheet software, I'm gonna go jump back to this one that we just created just by saving it into my own drive or making a copy into my own drive. And I'm gonna walk you through how we can start filling this out and getting some information that we can pass along to a solar technician. So you're probably looking at this and you recognize some things, right? You're seeing the energy guide, um, this yellow, sticker we always see on big devices like refrigerators or uh, water heaters or AC or heaters. This is basically telling us what the kilowatt hour usage per year is. So with devices like that, we're going to want to make sure we only put that information up here. And I kind of label it with a little yellow line. So hopefully that will make it easier for you guys to kind of distinguish between uh, where we want to put the energy guide stuff first, maybe just the wattage of other devices, which I'm going to get to in a second. So as you, as you can see in this example, I'm using a refrigerator. It's using 630 kilowatt hours a year. So we're going to go ahead and put that there. Um, again, you're going to probably have some other devices that have this information on a kilowatt hour yearly usage. Go ahead and fill this out. Um, for example, I might have a water heater that's 1800 and I'm just going to go ahead and fill that out there. A lot of other devices like LED lights, hair dryer, washer machine, dishwasher, TV, they're probably going to label with watts. We need to take down those watts. As you can see an example here that I have highlighted in red, you're going to want to put down the, the watts, let's say desktop computer, and then you know how, many, how often is that running a day? Let's say you run a desktop computer uh, all day, that's going to be 24 hours. Or if you're doing a dishwasher, you're going to run a, about a half an hour a day, we're going to want to put a 0.5 for half an hour. Um, TV, 120. Maybe you watch, you love your TV. You like to watch your TV shows or Netflix at night. Um, if you get satellite uh, in your off-grid system, but let's just say four hours. And so that's going to do the calculation. Very simple. Just basically multiplying that. Uh, we do have a couple simple calculators that we offer because sometimes they just don't have the wattage on there or any kilowatt information where you can derive the, the, the correct metrics or measurement that we need from you to put in the spreadsheet. So sometimes you'll get things like volts and amps. And so it's a simple equation and you just put in your volts and your amps and now you have your watts and you can put the watts down here. For example, we have 830 watts based off the volts and amps that is supplying on the label. And I use this maybe three hours a day. In some cases, you might have kilowatts and always know if you want to convert kilowatts to watts, it's just multiplying it by a thousand. It's a simple equation, but we figured we'd give it to you anyway. Some devices might just have how many kilowatts they use. Um, this is a little different than the energy guide. For example, this uses 1.2 kilowatts. That's going to equal 1,200 watts. So we're going to go ahead and put 1,200 watts. And we do it for two hours a day. And as I mentioned earlier, all these numbers are going to add up 
and give you your total daily watt hour usage. And this is important for the solar technician that you're gonna be working with because this is gonna be a starting point for them to really assess your system and design it. So it's gonna be really efficient. You're not gonna overproduce or underproduce and they're gonna find that sweet spot for you. You're basically gonna to wanna to save this and send it over to the solar technician for them to evaluate it. So kind of what we showed before, you're just gonna say download as. I recommend that you save it as a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet when you attach it to an email and send it to a solar technician. This is gonna allow them to continue to edit this and make this more robust if they need to. I hope you found this tool useful and I'll see you guys soon.